What's up, you guys? My name is Mary. I'm with Five Priestess Intuition. Welcome, my current subscribers, and welcome, 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 newbies. If you guys are new to my channel, Leo, and you enjoy my content, you can smash the sub button to be notified for future future readings. This is free general collective reading for Sana Leo. This can resonate if you have Leo in any aspects of your chart. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, or Thumb, and Hanger, your chart. Steps to the basics. Time is fluid. Energy is fluid. If it doesn't apply, apply it apply. Everyone has free will. Only take the messages that resonate and leave the rest. Free general collective reading for Sana Leo. Um, I love and appreciate each and every one of you guys. We're at 13,160 subscribers, so thanks so much for all the love and support to the channel. If you'd like to donate, it's High Priestess Pro 5. The link's in the description box below. PayPal only, no cash out, no Venmo. It's a very private, confidential way to donate if you choose to donate. I do not publicly display your name for privacy and confidentiality purposes if you choose to donate. Thanks so much for all the love and support to the channel, you guys. Um... Yeah. Oh, also I'm on I'm on Yelp now. Y E L P Yelp. So if you want to leave a review, if anything has resonated for you off the channel um, through the free readings, um, I would appreciate a very positive review if you feel guided to leave one. Spirit messages you have signed of Leo. This for sign of Leo. This can resonate if you have Leo in any aspects of your charts. One message may apply. Two may apply. Two plus may apply. None may apply. Only you know your situation and story, not anybody else. So you have to plug the message or, message or messages in how they apply. If they resonate for you, these are psychic, intuitive messages. Rabbit. Dragonfly. Action. Messages you have some light sign of Leo. I did receive a couple of channel messages as I was meditating on your energy, Leo. So I'm going to go ahead and deliver those while I'm shuffling these out. Uh, if you think anyone else would like my channel, please feel free to share my channel very publicly on your social media and word of mouth. I'd very much appreciate it. Okay, so the channeling um, I received um, as I was meditating on your energy, I heard a, um, an Aquarius. Um, an Aquarius and a Taurus is about to very, very, very publicly expose a um, a uh, Libra in a huge way. For some, a Libra. For some, a Scorpio. It is about to benefit you in a huge way. Uh, for some, another Libra is about to expose. Oh, okay. I heard for some, another Libra is about to expose. So, um, you plug it in how it resonates. So, Taurus... Aquarius and Libra energy about to expose some another Libra for some uh, Scorpio. I heard it's about to benefit you in a huge way. So you plug it in how it resonates. So I feel these are high vibrational Taurus or Tauruses, Libra or Libras, and Aquarius or Aquariuses. That I feel they could be masculine or feminine. I didn't hear if they were masculine or feminine. But they are about to expose for some. It could be both of these people. For some, one of these people. Only they know their story, not anybody else. But some kind of low vibrational scorpionic energy for some a low vibrational libra energy they could have scorpio or libra in their sun moon rising venus or Moon, and jupiter charts if that resonates and applies for you leo but i heard it's about to benefit you so then these people exposing these people is about to benefit you in a huge way however that resonates and applies in your own life leo That's um, the only one I've heard so far. Spirit messages you have sign of Leo. Oh, too many. Maybe you're emotional over person, people, place, or situation, or somebody's emotional over you, or you have addictions, or somebody you're dealing with has addictions in some shape, form, or fashion. You plug it in how it resonates. Spirit messages you have sign Leo. Mega manifestation coming for a particular Leo soon. Mega manifestation. Oh my God, that's beautiful. I heard mega manifestation coming for a particular Leo soon. Mega manifestation. So that's beautiful. Um, Leo, some kind of mega manifestation energy. Leos, we are um, 
leaders of the zodiac and our uh, Leo gang energy is coming up soon. Just saying, just saying, saying 23rd of July. I'm a Leo son, so I know all this. But um, I mean, I know the other placements too, but because I've been doing this so long. But my point is, I love some Leo energy because I'm a Leo son. Um, so mega manifestation energy. I love mega manifestation energy. Just for real, for real. Um, for some, um, you know, we can manifest many things now in a positive or a negative aspect. So it's how you grow and manifest yourself. Are you bringing in the positive people, places, things, or situations, or the bad? Um, so to me, the mega manifestation energy can go positively or negatively. Because it's all in how you are about to manifest whatever it is you're about to manifest. Okay? So it can go in a positively in a very positive way or negative in a very negative way. So you, you know, you have to watch what you manifest, who you manifest, how you deal with people, how you treat people, etc., etc., etc. Only you know your story, not anybody else, okay? But some kind of mega manifestation energy, I feel it can go in a very positive way or a very negative way. How that resonates and applies. Spirit messages you have for a time layout. You can manifest money, uh, positive connections or negative connections, or... Um, yeah, money or positive or negative connections. So how that resonates in applause, okay? You can manifest love. You can also manifest love. Spirit messages you have some Leah. A Sagittarius is about to try to come back into a Leo's life. For some another Leo, it's not going to work. Know this. Okay, for some of you guys, a person of your past. For some, it's your family. Okay, so you've got other Leo energy and Sag energy. For some, it's a person of your past. For some, it is a family member. Um, it doesn't sound like you want them there, Leo, if this resonates for you. Um, it doesn't sound like you want them back, if this resonates. I think they harmed you in the past, or they were negative influence in your life in some shape, form, or fashion in the past, or they were toxic to you in some shape, form, or fashion. How that resonates? But how that resonates, um, I heard you don't want them back. Um, it doesn't sound like you're going to allow them back. For some of Scorpio, for some of Pisces. Okay, so for some it's another Leo, for some it's a Sag, for some it's a Scorpio, for some it's a Pisces. Sounds like these people want to come back into your life. They want to come back into your life, um, but I heard you don't want them there. You don't want them there. So it's a, for some it's another Leo, for some it's a Sag, for some it's a Scorpio, for some it's a Pisces. They could have Leo, Sag, Scorpio, or Pisces, and their Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, or Thumb, and Hamper, Jupiter, Charles. For some it's a Virgo. For some it's a Virgo. For some it's a Virgo. But these are people your past. For some, it's people your past. For some, it's uh, family of the past. I feel toxic family. But I heard you don't want to back. You don't want to back. So, of course, you would know who these people are, not anybody else. You have to plug these people in, how they resonate, people your past, and some toxic family, I feel in. You plug it in, how it resonates. Number 15 could be a very significant number in one's life. Number 15, it could be a possible age of a child of yours or somebody you're connected to, child, or any other significant number in one's life, number 15. We have rabbit, dragonfly, February, camel, torch, action. For some, you could be dealing with the earth sign or air sign. If you are, they could have Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, or Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, and their sun, moon, rising, Venus, or them in Hebrew, Jupiter, charts. If you are Leo. Rabbit. A Leo sex appeal is about to be on point for many series of chain of events. A very significant gift card is about to help with this. Oh my God, Leo! Wow, man! Okay, um, uh, I love it. A Leo sex appeal is about to be on point. On point, on fleek, baby. I'm just saying, just saying. Um, oh yeah, I get it. I get it. Y'all know I do. I'm a Leo. I get it. Um, so your sex appeal is about to be on point on fleet, basically. I heard a very significant gift card is about to be very 
integral in this. So I think one of you guys is about to get sent a gift card or you already have a gift card and you're about to utilize it for some kind of sprucing yourself up energy. Um, I feel it's something aesthetic, um, this gift card. I feel it's maybe it's a, a gift card to a hair salon or a facial or um or maybe like something to like Solana Bello or whatever that's called or some kind of aesthetic service in such a form or fashion. How that resonates? It's something to do with your aesthetic, physical, outward appearance. Some This gift card. You can utilize it for some kind of aesthetic purposes. I'm feeling hair salon or facial or maybe um, something else. How that resonates? Um, you either have it already or you're about about to utilize um get it acquire it in some shape or fashion maybe an earth sign or air sign is about to send this to you um for some you plug it in how it resonates but this is sex appeal in this aspect the rabbit energy is um is um, sexual energy but in this aspect it's sex appeal it's not going out and spreading your legs every tom dick harry sally sue and joe it's sprucing yourself up in a very sex appeal positive sex appeal kind of way um which is beautiful so sex appeal energy a leo is about to find out about a pregnancy of a water sign soon for one it's going to shock you for one it's not a Leo is about to find out about a pregnancy of a water sign soon. Uh, for some of you guys, I heard it's going to shock you. For some, it's not. So um, if this resonates for you, you're about to find out about a pregnancy of a water sign. So a water sign feminine or somebody that has feminine masculine parts. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy. They can have Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio in their sun, moon, rising, Venus, or feminine behavior to your charts. However, this water sign femme applies in your life. I'm feeling a femme or a femme that has masculine parts as well. But however that resonates, I heard for some, it's not going to shock you. So you're highly intuitive. You probably already figured out they're pregnant or they've been in their sexual energy and boom, they're pregnant, prego, and it don't shock you because you know they sleep around or they've been sexually active or what have you, what have you. For some, it is going to shock you. So um, sexual energy of this water sign femme, whether it's going to shock you to find out they're pregnant or not, how that resonates. Dragonfly. Sex magic is about to continue to backfire on several people that put it on you in the past. Piscean energy, Scorpion energy, and it's about to backfire on a Libra energy in a huge ass way. Know this. And a Cancerian energy. Oh God, there's a lot of people put sex magic on you there, Leo. So you plug it in, how it resonates. So Sounds like a Scorpionic energy, a Cancer Leo, um, Cancer energy, a Piscean energy, and a Libra energy have all, uh, already put sex magic on you in the universe. So they've already done this. They've already put sex magic on you in the universe. And, and a Capricorn energy about to backfire. And a Capricorn energy. Okay, so all these people have, for some, one person could have put sex magic on you. For some, two plus, two or two plus. Only you know you're storing out anybody else. But for some of you guys, somebody put, uh, sounds like a, Either one person or two or two plus people put a hell of a lot of sex magic on you in the past. Sounds like for some of these people, it's already backfired. The Cancer, the Pisces, and the Scorpio. But for the Libra and the Capricorn upcoming, it's about to seriously backfire on them. So um, you plug it in how it resonates. So it's already backfired on these people, it sounds like, in the universe. And, uh, for some, it could be that water sign then that's pregnant, possibly. Um, for the Libra and the Capricorn, it's about to backfire. I feel these uh, could be masculine or feminine energies. They could have Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces, or Libra, or Capricorn in their Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, or Thumb, and Hamid, Jupiter charts. If that resonates, applies for you, Leo. Sex magic energy in this aspect. Sex magic energy. Dragonfly. 
A Leo feminine story is about to go viral very soon and very quickly. It's about to benefit you in a huge way. A huge, huge, huge way. Oh, that's beautiful. Okay, I heard a Leo Finn story. It's about to go viral in a um it's about to go viral and it's about to benefit you in a huge, huge, huge way. So um huge wrongs done to you in the past. Many know this and they're about to spread it like wildfire. Okay, I heard a huge wrong stone to you in the past, and they're about to spread it like wildfire. And it's about to go fast, 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 fast. Holy shit, and it's about to go fast, too. Holy crap. So huge wrongs were done to you in the past in some shape or fashion. Feel for some, it could have been your rights and liberties were stomped and treaded on so damn badly, or maybe you were stole from, or you were spiritually abused, financially abused, mentally abused, physically abused, or what have you, what have you. I feel abuse energy here. I didn't hear abuse, but I feel it. But how that resonates, you were wrong in a huge ass way. Whatever abuse or abuses this was. Um, and it's many people know this and they're about to spread it like wildfire, basically. They're going to help your story go, um, go viral. I feel social media energy here. For some, it could be word of mouth. Um, but I'm feeling um, Social media for a lot of these situations. For some, it could be word of mouth. But I heard they know you were wrong, and it sounds like they're mad about this. Very upset, and they're about to help you get it out in a huge way. Very upset, and they're about to help you get out in a huge way. So that's beautiful. So it sounds like somebody's about to stand up for you, Leo. Was not stood up for in the past, and these people know this. Was not stood up for in the past, and these people know this. So the people that's about to spread your story very viral, or what have you, what have you, um, they know what happened to you. Um, I feel in some social media energy for some it could be greedy, some maybe both. But um, I heard they know you were not stood up for in the past, and they're basically about to stand up for you. Um, they're about to create a many, 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 many series of chain events, many. It's about to benefit you in a huge way. Okay, so they're basically about to create a shit ton of series of chain events. It's about to benefit you in a huge way. So that's beautiful energy. Um, I heard you were not stood up for in the past. So these people know that and they're about to help you. They're about to stand up for you, uh, which is beautiful. It sounds like justice energy here. Um, and I didn't hear that, but it sounds like Libra and energy about to balance things out, which is beautiful. February. Someone was very, very jealous of you in February 2022. They put severe, you should have been moved on in February, by February of 2022. But so many people were trying to put control tactics on you, but now it's backfiring on them and it's going to continue. Know this. Okay, so you plug it in, how it resonates. Wow. So... Whoever this is resonating for, I heard you should have already been moved on by February of 2022. So moved on in some shape, form, or fashion. I don't know if that's physical moving or that's career or that's both or what have you, what have you. You should have already moved on by February 2022. So we're in June of 2022. So my God, March, April, May, June, four months ago, man, you should have already moved on. I'm feeling for some, it could have been career-wise, some physical moving, some maybe it might have been both. But you should have already been moved on. And many, 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 many people know this. Many. About to help, will move for you in a positive way. Okay, and basically a shit ton of people know you should have already moved on. And they're um, the people that know you should have moved on, they're about to help you, uh, help the will move for you. So I think that's why making your story go viral is what I'm feeling for some. For some, it could be some other way. Maybe they're going to report something if it's criminal or illegal. Oh, that resonates. But they're about to help the wheel move for you in a positive way because they know somebody's been, I heard somebody, um, a shit ton of other people were basically jealous of your ass. And so they intentionally kept you stuck and delayed and stagnant. 
but it's already backfired on the people that's intentionally kept you stuck, stagnant, and delayed, and it's going to continue. About a back about to backfire on one of these people in a huge ass way. A huge way. Heavy Aries energy and Capricorn energy. And Scorpionic energy. Okay, well, I heard one of these people, but it's it sounds like it's three. So about to backfire on a Scorpio, uh, Capricorn, and an Aries in a huge way. So they intentionally kept you stuck, stagnant, and delayed. They know you should have already been moved on by now, but they basically sounds like they, I think they got people to gang stalk you. Um, and um, they ganged up to intentionally keep you stuck, stagnant, and delayed, basically. Um, but it's already backfired on, it's going to continue, and I heard soon it's about to seriously backfire on an Aries, a Capricorn, and a Scorpio. So they could have Aries, Capricorn, or Scorpio in their sun, moon, rising, Venus, or Moon, Haven, or Jupiter charts. If that resonates for you, you should have already been moved on by February 2022. Camel, persevere and you will overcome problems. About to backfire in a huge negative way for a Libra as well. About to backfire in a huge negative way for a Libra as well. So Capricorn, Aries, Scorpio, Libra. About to really, really, really backfire on. These are low vibrational energies. For some, you can help it backfire on these people. If you are a sign of these people and, you know, if you have to plug yourself in where you fit, if you aren't these low vibrational people, you're not. You could be a sign of these people and help it backfire on these people is what I'm saying. You have to plug yourself in where you fit. But at least for one of you guys, you're a um, at least it sounds like one or two or two plus of these people help keep you stuck, stagnant, and delayed. And they're basically about to get some negative ass karma. They're low vibrational energies. They could have Capricorn, Aries, Libra. Or um, Scorpio in their Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, or Feminine, Hater, Jupiter charts. Persevere and you will overcome problems. Uh, Leo is about to get a huge ass energy burst. Huge. It's about to benefit you in a huge way. Huge. Leo is about to get a huge ass energy burst. It's about to benefit you in a very positive way. So huge energy burst, energy, I uh, think the energy, huge energy burst is about to help you persevere and overcome problems is what I'm feeling. Um, and that's beautiful. Um, I love energy burst. Um, for some, I feel you could have been draining your energy um, previously and you're about to, it sounds like upcoming in the universe, you're about to get a huge energy burst. Boom, baby, boom. Oh, shit. Hold on. Heard it's about to benefit you in a huge way, so you plug it in how it resonates. Oh, I gotta get y'all some. Oh, it's okay. Okay. Spiritual development, enlightenment, awareness, and understanding. I think one of you guys is very spiritual. Um, is exactly what I think. Or you're dealing with somebody very spiritual. However that resonates, because energy is very reversed. So you're you're either very spiritual or you're dealing with somebody very spiritual. I feel for some you're readers, and I'm just being for real. I didn't hear you are, but I feel some you are. A Leo has, are, has already received a huge spiritual inheritance. One is about to. It's about to benefit you in a huge way. Okay. Wow, spiritual inheritance energy. So for one, you've already received the spiritual inheritance. For one, you're about to. Um, it sounds like for both of you guys, it's about to benefit you in a huge way. I feel you can be a masculine or femme Leo. You could have Leo in any aspects of your charts. One, you've already received the huge spiritual inheritance. One, you're about to. So, you know, spiritual inheritances, it's not physical money or items or what have you, what have you. 
It is um, spiritual gifts. The spiritual gifts, uh, one, you've already received the huge spiritual inheritance, one, you're about to, and it's about to benefit you in a huge way. So spiritual inheritance energy, beautiful man. I'm just saying, just saying, spiritual development, enlightenment, awareness, and understanding. Yeah, this is the spiritual inheritance energy, whether you've already received it or you're about to. You've got your badass self. Cedar by Baruch Assault. I'm, I'm sorry. Baruch Assault is the name of the person. Um, I, I like me. Love me some Baruch Assault. Just saying. Cedar is the name of the song. And this is a um, badass song. Very much. Very much. I think somebody's pissed at you. The name of the song is Cedar. You take the message, I mean, you take the song and plug it in your own life, how it resonates. But I feel for some, somebody's very pissed at you. They're seething because you are still persevering. Somebody has put blockages and delays and stagnation and blase, 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 roadblocks, what have you, what have you, in your way. And basically, you're still overcoming and you're still persevering. And they're seething at this. I feel they're secretly seething or they're seething to other people. Seething means extremely pissed. Like, I imagine like a cartoon character with like smoke coming out of their fucking ears. That's what I'm feeling. Um, but you plug the song in how it resonates. Um, I got to listen to this when we're done. Oh, yeah. It's a rocking ass song, baby. A Leo is about to cut off a business partner soon. Bad vibes. One, you're a tarot card reader. One, you're not. Okay. I heard uh, Leo, so at least two of you guys. One, you're a tarot card reader. One, you're not. I heard you're about to cut off a business partner soon. Bad vibes. So I think you're about to sense bad vibes. Or you've already sensed bad vibes. How that resonates and applies for you, Leo. One, you're a tarot card reader. One, you're not. But it's some kind of business partner energy. It sounds like you're already collaborating with. Um, and you're going to decide to cut them off. It sounds like upcoming you're going to decide to cut them off. Because you've already sensed bad vibes or you're about to. Um, how that resonates. One, you're a reader. One, you're not. But... Um, Regardless of whether you're a reader or not, your intuition's heightened and um, you are about to cut this person off. One, uh, Leo is about to go through a huge spiritual awakening. Severe medical prognosis soon. Masculine energy. One Leo masculine is about to go through a huge spiritual awakening um, soon. Uh, medical, it sounds like very negative medical prognosis. So prognosis, like a diagnosis, like a medical diagnosis or progression of diagnosis, how that resonates. Um, it sounds like some kind of medical, it's about to go bad, about to go bad and south, some kind of medical something, something with the Leo masculine. And he's about to... Um, have a huge spiritual awakening. So spiritual awareness in this aspect, spiritual awakening energy. Uh, it's a Leo masculine. You could be this person or somebody dealing with this Leo masculine, how that resonates. A Leo masculine is about to find out his partner has been cheating on him. For some, it's a feminine partner. For some, it is a masculine. Okay, so for some of you guys, you're about to find out your partner's been cheating on you. For some, it's a feminine, feminine partner. For some, it's a masculine. But you are a Leo masculine, if this resonates for you. You're a Leo masculine, and you're about to find out your partner has been cheating on you. For some, it's a homosexual relationship. For some, it's a heterosexual. So you plug yourself in wherever you fit, but you are a Leo masculine, if this message applies for you. And it sounds like upcoming, you're about to find out your partner's been cheating on you, uh, whether it's the homosexual relationship or heterosexual. You plug it in how it resonates. Action.
Lots and lots and lots of doctor visits coming soon for Leo. Lots. And for one, lots of involvement with child protective services. Drugs. Okay. So for one of you guys, lots of involvement, medical involvement soon. It sounds like doctors or appointments or surgeries or treatments or what have you. Um, it could be the Leo masculine where your health's about to go down or somebody else, how that resonates. Um, it sounds like you about to do this. It sounds like you are about to um, be involved in this. And for some, it is you are about to be heavily involved, I heard, with child protective services because of some kind of drugs. So I feel you can be masculine or feminine for either one of those um, messages. Um, but it sounds like you are about to, this is going to have to be you. So whether it's the appointments, the treatments, the hospitalization possibly, or what have you, what have you, whatever medical is going on here. And, um, or the upcoming heavy involvement with child protective services involving drugs. Um, it sounds like you are directly involved in this. Um, for some, you could be the workers, like health professionals involved in this or the, um, or the, uh, Child protective service workers involved in this. How that resonates, okay? But action energy, how that resonates, action for sure. A very high vibrational Leo feminine energy is about to help out another very high vibrational Leo feminine energy. Very important information is about to be delivered to very, 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 very important people regarding fraud and theft. This high vibrational Leo feminine energy is about to help out this other very high vibrational Leo fem energy in huge ways. Paying it forward. Well, that's beautiful. So Leo Fem to Leo Fem energy, high vibrational Leo Fem energy to high vibrational Leo Fem energy. You have to plug yourself in where you fit. Are you the one about to deliver information on this um, other Leo Fem that's been thefted and frauded and et cetera, et cetera, et cetera? Or are you the one, um, are you the one about to, um, yeah, that's how I feel. I heard it's a Le two Leo Fem high vibrational energies. Um, one has been thefted and frauded from. One, you know about it. One, you know about it, and you're about to deliver the information. I heard you somebody very, very, very important. And basically, it's going to help this other Leo fem that has been thefted and frauded from um, in huge ways. You're going to pay it forward. So, yeah, I feel you're this person. Well, for some, I feel you could be the one that's been thefted and frauded. For some, I feel you could be the one that's been thefted and frauded. For some, I feel you could be the one that knows this person's been thefted and frauded from. And you're about to deliver the information to help out this person because you're about to pay it forward. If this um, message applies for you of two very high vibrational Leo feminine energies, they can have Leo in their sun, moon, rising, Venus, north, and mid of Jupiter charts. Kudos to you, ma'am, if this resonates for you. Kudos to you, ma'am, because I would do that too. I would do that too. I believe in paying it forward and um, humanity, humanitarian type um, works. And it sounds like you do too, ma'am. And absolutely freaking lutely. Um, I don't believe in taking advantage of other people. I don't. I really don't. I believe in paying it forward and helping the collective and humanity and absolutely freaking lutely. So you're about to take action. Kudos to you, ma'am. This resonates for you. You're a very high vibrational Leo feminine energy. You're about to help out another high vibrational Leo feminine energy. Um, about to get it to the right person and it's about to go fast, 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 fast. About to get it to the right person and it's about to go fast, 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 fast. So you're, you're about to get it to the right person, ma'am. You know who to contact or you're just going to get lucky and get the right person, how that resonates. But I heard it's about to make it go fast. So kudos to you, ma'am. Action energy. I love it. Exercise, exercise, exercise. I've got this in several signs. Holy crap. Ex I think, uh, yeah, I think I've gotten in three signs so far. Exercise, exercise, exercise. So one of you guys, you're either already exercise, exercise, exercising, or you're about to. How that resonates. So a lot of exercising in the, um, the collective, in my collective at least. That's beautiful. So action, exercising. Whether you're about to or you already have been. I know I have been. Y'all know this. It's been my new favorite thing. And that's just the damn truth. I've been a whole new person in two weeks. I mean, I'm serious. 
I mean, you can't really tell. I'm still kind of, I'm still a Kirby girl, and that's okay. I like my perks, but, um, holy crap, it's, it's changed the inside of me. I just feel so much better, and that's just the truth. A particular high vibrational air sign is about to come back into a Leo feminine's life. For some, a high vibrational air sign femme. Going to deliver very important information. No, they have a lot of respect for you now. It's going to be completely different now. Okay, so you plug in and how it resonates. So high vibrational air sign energy re-entering your life. So if this resonates for you, you're a Leo fam. A lot of Leo fam energy in here, so you have to plug yourself in where you fit if you do. Um, I will a lot of Leo masculine too, but you plug it in where it resonates. But if this me message applies for you, you're a Leo fam. Um, and I feel a high vibrational Leo fam because I heard they have a lot of respect for you now. So um, maybe they didn't in the past or they're... Um, judgment was clouded or something of that nature, but they do have a lot of respect for you now. I'll tell you that. Um, how that resonates, but how that resonate? Do you already know them? You know them as a person in your past. I heard they're about to re-enter your life in some shape, form, or fashion, and to deliver you very important, helpful, useful information. Um, it's about to help you out in a huge ass way. It's about to help you out in a huge ass way. Is what I heard. So this helpful, useful information is about to help you out in a huge ass way. Or they have a lot of respect for you now. So I don't think they did in the past or somebody manipulated their thoughts or um, viewpoint of you or something of that nature or you did something that um, made them not like you. However that resonates, I'm not sure. Only you know you're destroying anybody else. But however that resonates, they have a lot of respect for you now. I'll tell you that. And whatever information they're about to deliver you with the action energy over here, it's about to help you out in a huge ass way. I think it's going to create positive series of chain events for you is what I feel. So you plug it in, how it resonates. A Leo is about to learn of a mental health hospitalization. Some of, some of a masculine energy, some of a feminine energy. Much needed. One Leo is going to help put them there. Oh my Lord, whoa. So, so you plug it in, how it resonates. So, um, Mental health court for some. Mental health court for some. Dear God Almighty. So, okay, so some of you guys, you're a high vibrational Leo. You're going to help put these people there. For some, you're about to learn of this um, uh, mental health hospitalization. For some, it's of a masculine energy. For some, it's of a femme energy. I didn't hear signs on these people. You have to plug these people in how it resonates. So, for some, you're going to help put them there. Uh, so, I think you work in the legal system, sir or ma'am. And I feel like you're high vibrational. For some, you're about to hear of these people about to go, but I heard it's much needed. So for some, they're about to go through mental health court. Like they are about to be court ordered to go to mental health court. Um, for some, it maybe they start acting out in public like crazy erratic behavior or something and somebody calls the police and then the police come and take them because they're acting so crazy. How that resonates. But some it's mental health court ordered. For some, it's not. Some you're about to hear of this. For some, you are going to help put them there. So I feel you work in the legal system. For some, you'd be a judge, possibly. I feel you might be a judge for some. And I I mean, how are you going to put them there? I feel you, for some, you might be a judge. And I'm just being for real because I don't know who else could have the authority to put somebody, order somebody to mental health court. Unless somebody else has that kind of authority. I'm not sure. Um, you guys plug it in how it resonates, but... To my knowledge, the only person that would have that kind of authority to put somebody in mental health court would be a judge. Unless I'm wrong. If I'm wrong, please correct me. How that resonates, either you're going to help put them there. Well, for some, you could call the police. If you help put them there, you could call the police if they're acting out erratic in the neighborhood or community. Yeah. So for some, if they're like in a public space and they're acting all freaking crazy, maybe you help put them there by calling the police. For some, you could be a judge. Or however else you help put them there. 
um, how that resonates, okay? Um, for some, um, you're about to hear about it. For some, it's a masculine energy. For some, it's a fam. I heard they really, really need it. It sounds like a, um, it sounds like people are about to start stepping up. They're about to start stepping up in a very positive way, non-abusive power kind of way. They're about to do it the right way here is what it sounds like here. Um, but I heard these people really need it. It's not, this is not abusive power energy. Thank God this is not abusive power. This is, these people really need it. I heard they really need it. And whoever you are, I feel you're highly intuitive over here. And you know this is what I'm feeling. Um, that's what I'm feeling. But you plug it in how it resonates. A Leo judge, feminine judge, has gained a lot of respect for a Leo fem in her community. She's about to pay it forward to her soon through many series of chain events. Whoa, man. God, y'all are coming in so strong, Leo. So a Leo fem judge. Okay, so I did hear a judge. I picked up strong judge energy in Cancers, too. I just want to say that. Um, but I've got a Leo Fem judge too, apparently. Um, you could have Leo in your Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Ortho, Moon, Haven, or Jupiter charts, ma'am, if that resonates for you. Um, but I heard you really have a, gained a lot of respect for a Leo Fem in your community. So a high vibrational Leo Fem energy in your community. So a citizen of your community, ma'am, if that resonates for you, Leo Fem and judge. Heard you're about to pay it forward to her and create many series of chain events that are about to positively affect her in some shape, form, or fashion. So action energy, Leo feminine judge, if this resonates for you, ma'am, um, paying it forward to this Leo feminine citizen of your community, if this resonates for you. Um, if that resonates and applies for you, um, I feel you might be very spiritual, um, possibly. I didn't hear you were. You might be uh, for some. This is beautiful. I mean, overall, it's beautiful. There's good and bad in here. There's good and bad, but there's good and bad in all the signs. And um, if I didn't deliver bad i would i feel like i'd be doing a disservice to everybody because there is good and bad in in all the signs so um it's whatever i'm pulling through here so you plug it in how it resonates an earth sign very loyal earth sign is about to really 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 reconnect with the leo leo Show their true feelings. Lots of respect here. Okay. Wow, this is looking good, Leo. Aquarius is, was great, too. Um, overall, great. Um, okay, so we've got a uh, earth sign of your past, if this resonates for you. They have a lot of respect. A lot of respect energy in here, too. Thank goodness. I'm just saying. So... Okay, so it's an earth sign of your past. I feel like they can be masculine or femme earth sign. They could have Taurus, Capricorn, or Virgo in their sun, moon, rising, Venus, ortho, main, haven, or Jupiter charts. If that resonates, applies for you. I'm sorry, I'm so thirsty. But I heard basically they are about to um, reconnect with you, um, sir, ma'am. I feel you can be masculine or femme, but it's earth sign of your past. Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo. I heard they have a lot of respect for you, and they're about to reconnect with you. Um, it sounds like it's going to be positive energy here. They're going to take action. It sounds like they are going to reconnect with you, sir or ma'am, over here. Um, a very loyal earth sign. Um, I don't feel they betrayed you. Or if they have, hopefully they complain about it. Um, you plug it in how it resonates. However that resonates, okay? Okay, I think we're done. I hope you guys, I hope this helped. If you think anyone else would like my channel, please feel free to um, share my channel very publicly, word of mouth, and social media. I'd appreciate it. Traveling is about to become very significant in a positive way in a Leo's life. Traveling is about to become very significant in a positive way in a Leo's life. There you go. All right, we're done. I'm getting out of here. Love you guys. Namaste.